the new 2021 guidelines on the management of valvular heart disease, which are being written by the ESC and the European Association for Cardiothoracic Surgery, have shown that there has been a huge increase in the knowledge for the treatment of patients with valvular heart disease. Not only that the degenerative heart disease is increasing for valvular patients, but it also shows that there are a huge amount of new techniques available. Therefore, the first requirement are nowadays to have a heart valvular team specialized in valvular heart diseases. What is new? New is about mitral valve regurgitation. Secondary mitral valve regurgitation can nowadays be treated very well with interventional techniques. Primary mitral valve regurgitation can nowadays be treated very successfully with surgical techniques, repair, even very often in the minim minimally invasive approach. For aortic valvular heart disease, we all know that there has been a tremendous interest in TAVI procedures and the guidelines will show that there is a group of patients in whom the surgical techniques are favorable. There is another group of patients in whom clearly TAVI is being indicated and there is a third group of patients in whom both techniques could be used and the decision has to be made by the heart team consisted, consisting of cardiologists, cardiac surgeons and anesthesiologists. The same is also true for patients with tricuspid valve disease. Tricuspid valve disease is also a disease which is not so infrequent as we thought before, but they are very often very sick. And therefore, not only surgical techniques are available, but now also more and more interventional techniques are being evaluated and created to treat these very sick patients. So, as a summary, all these knowledge are being published now in the 2021 valvular heart disease guidelines and they are all available to you and I hope that you all will read them.